Well, my next guest, along with his team, recommends five stocks each quarter, and their picks have beaten the indexes each quarter over the last three years. Gabelli and Company, or last several years, Gabelli and Company generated profits of 228 percent. 228 percent since the Focus 5 was generated five years ago, compared with a 3.8 percent return for the S&P 500. Not a bad return. Well, one of the publishers of this list is Daniel Miller. He's the head of Institutional Equities, joins us now to talk about this quarter's picks. And uh, Dan, great to have you on our program. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. Yahoo, I noticed when I was going through the Focus 5, is on your list. And interestingly enough, David Einhorn has bought into it. Are you buying into Yahoo because of the Yahoo Japan and the Alibaba stakes? Well, I think there'll be a lot of moving parts in the next six to 12 months, but we are focused on the company's private market value. We think that the cash, Alibaba, and Japan together equal about 1360 per share. So at the current price, you're paying roughly two to two and a half times EBITDA for what's left. That's U.S. search. And I think, you know, the next few months will bring us several events, and we are focused on catalysts, right? So will mm-hmm. they spin Yahoo Japan in a tax-efficient manner? Will they IPO Alibaba? Even if there's just more disclosure on Alibaba, that's a real positive for us. Right. So you're saying, uh, but, but if I can read this correctly here in your report, yeah. that about 80% of the stock price, or a little bit less than that, or roughly around that, is right. based on those two units, right? Exactly. Okay. Um, and the price right now is at 1814. What do you expect? What's your target there? Well, we think, that, we think that Yahoo is probably worth in the low to mid $20 per share range. And that's, of course, assuming certain you know, pieces come together for us. Uh, how much credit, Dan, do you give Carol Bartz in this? I think, you know, she's terrific. She'll do the right things. And it's, you know, really a matter of the next couple of steps. And I think it's at some point as well, someone will, will uh, I think, want to buy all of Yahoo, whether that's just U.S. search or different pieces together. Who might that be? What are some of the names that it you... Could be, it, could, it could be Microsoft. It could be private equity. I think there'll be several players who will step up. Okay. Uh, Dan, let's move on to some of the other picks, and I know our audience okay. would want to know. Ascent Media, which is the sort of media production company partly sure. owned by John Malone, uh, what's the potential there? Well, Ascent has gone through a major transformation in the past few months. They've sold off all of its media assets, and today it's really a holding company. It's got about $265 million of cash, $65 million of real estate, and some large NOLs. And they've got an investment in a company called Monotronics, which is involved in home security. Mm. So you've got really a sum of the parts story that we think is worth closer to $65 per share. The next step is Will Malone and his team go out and use the cash to buy a second business or just recap it, adding some debt to the story and then use that smartly. Uh, It's trading at 47. What are the chances it could be acquired? I'm not sure that it gets acquired in its current state, but if they add, for example, to home security and become more of a pure play, we know that that there are buyers out there for that kind of business, really strong recurring cash flows. Uh, Navistar International, the trucking company, was another one of your picks I thought was kind of interesting at a time like this when oil prices are going up. Why Navistar? Oil is going up, but so is demand for freight shipping. And given that the, the truck fleet is kind of at its, at, its, at its very peak here, it's aging, there'll be demand for replacements. And Navistar is really one of the leaders and probably the most levered to the Class 8 market in the U.S. And so we think sales of Class 8 heavy-duty trucks will go from about 110,000 this year to 175 next year to 235 in 2012. Okay. Uh, trading at 69 right now. Uh, yeah. what's, what's your target in three months? We think it's probably worth in the low 80s here. It's got a stronger balance sheet. Management should should do the right things here in uh, deploying that. Uh, And quickly, CCE, the big bottler of Coca-Cola. Is this on consolidation of the bottlers? I'm not sure it is. You know, they've sold off their operations in North America to Coke last fall. Today it's a play on Western Europe. And really, per capita consumption in Western Europe is about half of that in the U.S. They may, we think, buy the operations in Germany, which should be a positive catalyst here. Okay, it's trading at 28.89. That's the last close. Where do you see right. that? Mid to high th- 30s. Mid to high 30s. Okay, I can squeeze one more in. CVS, your last okay. one. CVS. The, the last of our five. CVS Caremark has had a rough, rough time. Is that is it sort of like a buying on the dip type of thing? Well, Caremark's had a rough time, right? Caremark, which is the PBM business, has lost some major contracts. They've also had a major decline in in, in margins the past two years. They're they will start a process now to restructure that business. But okay. we think that the, the uh, new CEO, okay. if it doesn't work, should probably split it apart. And Dan? So, some of the parts is probably Got worth it. you know, low 50s. Dan, thank you.